in a retail store, typically you have a set number of employees and you want to make sure that your employees have access to only what they need access to. So in Core Store, you can easily set up employee permissions. Uh, and when you set up an employee, and we'll just go to uh, an employee and we'll show you the screen, you can actually go in and if you scroll down all the way, you'll see that there's employee permissions and access. And we recently changed it so it's easy to scroll these and you can see the top level uh, of these different permissions. And if I click on one, it will expand it. And we get pretty granular. So you can set up permissions for your sales screen and your work orders and items. You have all of this granular control. But a lot of times if you have multiple employees, that becomes a little difficult to manage. And that's why we have what we call permission templates. And permission templates allows you to set up essentially a template for the type of employee. So if you go back to the employee screen, what you can do <clears throat> is you can click on the three dots at the top right and click on permission templates. And you'll see that I've got one called admin and it's very easy to create a new one. And we'll just call this one sales associate. This will save you a lot of time because what you can do is, is you can say, okay, this sales associate, basically they have access to sales, but I don't want to give them access to edit the sale price uh, or edit the cost or edit the due date. We do want to let them give a discount. We don't want to let them delete. We don't want them to delete taxes. And again, you can just go through each of these. And the nice thing is once you have this set up, and again, in this case, I'm just giving them access to the sales screen. They don't have access to anything else because by default, when you set up a new template, there are no permissions set up. I can hit save. And once I do that, you'll see that I've got a new template called sales associate. And it's very simple. I can now go back to my employees and choose that same employee that we were working with before. And rather than going through every single permission, I can simply scroll down, choose this particular permission template. So their sales associate, hit save. And now basically I'm done. And when I hire a new person, I can just choose what security template that they belong to. And also if I make any changes to a template, it will go ahead and change uh, all of those employees to make sure that if there is a new permission that you want to provide or if there's a permission that you want to take away, all you need to do is change the template. You don't have to go through each employee to make those changes. Thanks for watching this video.